October 14th, 2014. This is what it looks like to ride your power chair across DeForest Street. Well, let's wait for this guy to get by. There's no curb cut over here, there should be, and there's no crosswalk, there should be. And now in order to get to the post office, I'd have to ride in the street all the way. If I'm going downtown, I'm looking for a spot where I can get out of the street and get up on the sidewalk. Here's the spot. Okay, and now I'm riding the sidewalk across the slope. Wrong to do with the power chair because you might tip over. And now I'm coming and approaching First Street. This is the block of Town Hall. Two weeks ago, Public Works started building curb cuts. There's one over there and one over here. However, in order to get there, you can't get there on the other side of the street because the sidewalk is broken up terribly. So this is the way I have to go right now. That's the post office across the street. There is no ADA ramp. I can't get in the main entrance on Main Street, and even if I go on the ramp here, they don't let me inside. I have to do all my postal business from outdoors. That means in the winter, summer, rain, and snow. Up ahead is the AutoZone shopping plaza. Parking is prohibited in the fire zone, fronting all of these shops, yet police are unable to uh, enforce the law. They say they don't have the time. That's the laundry where I used to go. I don't go there anymore because the owner doesn't like me calling him on my cell phone asking him to open the door for me. He says I interrupt his work. I only go there once a week. I drop off my clothes one day and a week later I go back to pick it up. And now we're approaching the famous so-called historic district of downtown Seymour. Up ahead beyond that stop sign is the Belkin 1917 building that a local architect restored and that's where the general store is. First Street Pizza. Very good pizza right over here. I'm riding on a brick walk. It shakes the hell out of your power chair and your bladder. It's also a trip and fall hazard for ladies who wear high heels or men who wear high heels. And over here, public work started building curb cuts. These projects are a result of my complaint that the Commission on Human Rights and Opportunities. Hello. Here's tea with Tracy. I've had tea outside. And across the street on the corner is Wild Flower. It's a cupcake shop that's being opened up by a friend of ours. One great thing about the general store, the All-American Valley General Store, is that it has a helical ramp for wheelchair users like me. I'm going to ride it right now. And this is the entrance to the general store. Pretty cool, huh? 
Yep, up we go. Sort of like an amusement park ride. And this is the entrance to the general store where I come often. I used to play jazz piano here. Well, I hope you like the ride. Bye.